Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out my new cast off 762 in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 25 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch and it helps out this video a bunch. Let's get straight into the attachments. I kind of wanted to make this like a AK-47, I guess you could say. So, I mean, it technically is an AK-47, but for the stock, I'm using a Markeev R7 stock for crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. The cons are recoil control. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I wanted more aim down sight speed. Uh, negative 2.97 ounces to the weight to add more, and negative 1.47 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. And I'm telling you, adding this makes it to where you move so fast whenever you're aiming in. And over on the rear grip, I'm using the true tack grip for sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. The cons are recoil control. For the rear grip tuning, I'm going with negative 0.58 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 0.26 inches to the width to add sprint to fire speed. And over on the underbarrel, I'm using the FSS Sharkfin 90 underbarrel as aiming out of stability with no cons, which is really, really good. And for the tuning, I went with 0.49 ounces to the weight to add recoil stabilization and negative 0.25 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. And over on the muzzle, which I think this is a very underrated muzzle, the Saken Tread 40 for vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control. It does take off a pretty good amount of aim down sight speed or just overall handling. As you can see, it the cons are aim down sight speed and aim stability. The tuning I went with is 0.44 ounces to the weight to add recoil stabilization and 0.25 inches to the length to add recoil control. And for the barrel I'm using is the CAS 7 406 millimeter. It adds recoil control, hip recoil control, and bullet velocity, which I think is really, really good. You do lose movement speed and damage range, but I, yep, I went ahead and got the damage range i guess back that i lost which is really really good 0.25 inches to the link to add damage range and 0.35 pounds to the weight to add recoil sadness if you guys end up trying this class setup out and you like it please let me know down in the comments or if you have a better class setup for me to try let me know what that is down in the comments i have a crazy gameplay for you guys i hope you guys enjoy that and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace All right, we're going to be checking out the cast off 762. Where did... How did that guy just get so... What the... That guy is zooming. They're definitely spawning over here. Yeah, I need some ammo, like, really, really quick. Oh my god, why do people go up in this room? Every time I play this map, people are just always in this room. And like, he's gone now, like, bro. Oh, you're a little camper. Okay. 
dude. Gonna have to turn up against these guys. They're actually like in a party. Why are you? I'm not gonna be able to get a nuke, but they're definitely not winning this game. Why did I see that guy's foot? That was so weird. I'm gonna. Sorry about that. I got a three piece with a nade. Oh my God. Oh my God. I swear I always come myself with a veto. Did he just say I'm hacking? Wow. <laughs> uh, what's this guy doing? Just hanging around. Just happened to my screen. Happened in that room. Bro, get out the. Oh, 
I love a lobby like this. Oh, this is probably about to be the end. Sixty-five kills, GG's. Yeah.